that's nature. God has provided us beautiful nature with plentiful natural resources. Resources means the material which we use to meet our daily needs. For example, sunlight provides us a lot of resources such as light, heat, energy, vitamin D that help us to grow our food and most importantly, it helps to keep us alive. Air is an important natural resource. It is a mixture of gases like uh, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and other gases. It is essential for the survival of human beings. It is also important for the growth of plants and animals. Water is essential for all life processes. It is used for drinking, cooking, cleaning and many other activities like agriculture, industries, etc. Soil is our life support system. It provides food through agriculture. It is the source of nutrient for many forms of life. Many valuable minerals are explored from the soil. Plants are really important for the planet and for all living things. Plants absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen from their leaves which humans and other animals require. Fossil fuels are of great importance because they burn and produce significant amount of energy. These natural resources are divided into two types, renewable resources and non-renewable resources. There are some resources which can be used again and again, such as the sun's heat, rain, water, tide, geothermal, etc. These resources can be used again and again. For millions of years, these are renewable resources. These resources can be trapped or harnessed to provide us with an abundant supply of energy and they can be used in a favorable conditions. Different types of renewable resources are solar energy, wind energy, biomass energy, geothermal energy and hydropower energy. Solar energy. It is a transformation of heat, the energy that comes from the sun. It all began with Edmund Becquerel, a young physicist working in France, observed and discovered photovoltaic effect means energy, such as solar heating, solar thermal energy, solar architecture, and artificial photosynthesis a process that produces electric current. Wind energy Wind power or wind energy is the use of wind to provide mechanical power through wind turbines to turn electric generators for electrical power. Wind turbines are typically used for water pumping or communication. Biomass energy It is a clean renewable energy sources. Its initial energy comes from the sun and plants. Trees, crops and municipal solid waste are constantly available and can be managed sustainably. Geothermal energy It is the energy harnessed within the earth. The word geothermal comes from the Greek words geo, earth and therm, heat. It is renewable resources because heat is continuously produced inside the earth. Hydropower electricity is electrical energy produced through the power of moving water. It is obtained from the gravitational means movement of water. It generates or produces electricity by using a dam or diversion structure to alter the natural flow of a river or other body of water. exist in fixed amount. There are four major types of non-renewable resources. They are oil, natural gas, coal and nuclear energy. Oil, natural gas and coal are collectively called fossil fuel. Fossil fuel were formed within the earth from the dead plants and animals over millions of years. Hence the name fossil fuel. 
A popular way of generating electricity around the world consists of uranium and similar fuel sources which are finite. They are a nuclear energy. Oil is extracted from crude oil and is processed in oil refineries to create fuel. Oil, gasoline, petroleum gas and other non-fuel products such as pesticides, fertilizers, pharmaceuticals and plastics. Natural gases is formed by decaying organic matter that have been buried and then subjected to intense heat and pressure. Coal comes from the remainings of the plant which takes millions of years to form. They are pillaged for thousands or even millions of years. So, we need to conserve them. Now, let us learn how can we conserve the natural resources. Natural resources are very important for living thing. Human, animals and plants need natural resources in order to survive. This is why conservation is so important. Conservation is protection of natural resources. What happens if we don't conserve important things such as water and clean air? This can lead to scarcity. Scarcity means where there is not enough for something. Look at the dry land, there is not enough water to grow healthy plant due to the water scarcity. Let us see few methods by which we can conserve natural resource. We must follow 3R rules that is reduce, reuse, recycle in order to conserve natural resource. We must not waste water unnecessarily. We must use biodegradable garbage bag. We must plant more and more trees for preventing the soil erosion. We should turn off the appliance when there is not in use. We should make less use of things like plastic, polythene and rubber. We should utilize renewable resources. We should practice rainwater harvesting. Dirty water flowing from industries and factories must be refined. Old and polluting vehicles must be checked and replaced to prevent air pollution. Smoke and dust coming out of the factories should be checked. These are some of the methods we have to follow in order to conserve natural resource. For sustainable development, we can use alternative resources. Alternative resources like solar energy, wind energy, hydropower energy, geothermal energy. So, it is necessary for us in order to conserve natural resources for future generations. Let's recapitulate. Natural resources. Natural resources are divided into two types. Renewable resources, non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are also known as inexhaustible resources that can be used again and again. Some of the renewable resources are solar energy, wind energy, biomass energy, geothermal energy, hydropower. Non-renewable resources. Non-renewable resources are inexhaustible resources which cannot be used again and again. For example, oil, natural gas, coal, nuclear energy conservation of the natural resources such as afforestation 3 hours reduce reuse recycle compost conserving the water preventing the soil erosion along with conservation methods we can also use resources alternatively they are called as alternative resources like solar panel windmills hydropower plant 